He made fajitas. He made like the whole ringer. Wow. You think fajitas, all your fixings, homemade tortillas. Like he did the ringer. Were you? Did you come over that night? Mm -hmm. I know we had leftovers forever. Not gonna ask. They're all his. <laughs> all you have to do is ask. I will once once we get over that. <laughs> How about you do it now? Be a fucking man. Fucking own up to your mistakes. I'm sorry I didn't ask. <laughs> I'll ask you in a minute when I want some. <laughs> I was just checking it out. <laughs> you look like you want some now. I don't. I really don't. I was just checking out the, <laughs> the plastic. Yeah, sure. Okay. Because I ripped the plastic off. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I mean, that's often why I reach into a box of cookies is to not get cookies, yes. <laughs> to visualize the cookies without eating any, yes, that's... <laughs> anyway, this is name pending. <laughs> <laughs> this is name pending. This is name pending. I'm Keeper. I'm Mike Holberson. And I am Kelt. <laughs> so you got our three names. Hey, so we got another indoor one because once again... It's raining. It's raining. It's Pearl. Typhooning. Hold on. Pearl, get your ass over here. Leave them cats alone. Get over here. Don't make me beat you. Again. Again. I ain't beat a dog oh, all day. Come on, Pearly. Bingo. Boy bingo. Scout. Boy Scout bingo. Bingo's not here. I don't know. Stop smacking the table that picks up on the mic. Okay. <laughs> Pearl, where you at? Anakin. Pearl, That's where you at? Come here. You Come here. are all of them. Come here. Bro. Come here. Right here. Right here. So we get all our fur babies around. We do have every animal. We're also in Keeper's house while it's going through renovation, and he is just like gone. Like he is not himself. But you know what? The house is clean. Yeah. It's pretty much empty. I'm excited to have a shower, and a shower's going to come down from the top. So oh, next nice. time you lose water, or lose water, you <laughs> check out a shower that... You're going to have the waterfall type shower? Oh, it's a full of waterfall. Oh, yeah, the... the. And I love it because... Are so you going to have it come out foot, of the walls, too? No, just the top. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't need more than that. But it, I'm, I'm so excited to take an actual shower in a shower shower. You mean where it's like the shower is not like pointing at your chest all the time because you're taller than the shower? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that's how I felt. That's your shower. Problem. This. <laughs> Ain't my problem. That's my problem in my guest one too. And I was like, you Man. can aim your shower head up a little bit though, and get your. You neck. can only aim your shower head so far up before the water's just like. Eh, yeah. Eh, <laughs> you have good water pressure in that shower, I know, because I've taken showers in that shower. Everyone in Lay this down. room has taken showers in my house. Lay down. <laughs> Lay down. Oh, did I get a squeaky chair again? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to be rocking anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's not good on the optics, bro. Good. So what are we... What, what, good dog. You're reading books? Well, we, got, we got the... Kel, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do anything this time. <laughs> That's pretty much the biggest knock on the table. <laughs> so it's raining. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's raining. We, we came to Keeper's house in... Quickly assembled a, a, a studio inside. But it actually looks pretty good. It's this is bad. probably the best studio we've actually I had. would definitely take this off and build a, or get a thinner table. No, I would build a table if we were going to do Well, that's what this. I'm saying. I was like, I would definitely get a... Because I'd want the same length on both sides. Yeah. But we're getting off track. Book talk. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I, I agree. Are, I think you should fair. do it lengthwise this way and maybe do like some kind of round to the front and then a top that goes over it so you have more I'd have a cross beam so that way we could have a little pocket there for all our mixing stuff and yeah. then drill little holes in there for all the wiring yeah I think it'd be pretty cool yeah and then we'd record it and see how miserable we do. Oh yeah no we'd fuck it up all the time. Like, alright so we want six feet by six feet why who cut a two foot segment? Well, that was for the no, not this wood, the scrap wood. So that'd be that's, that's of course. Us. It's raining at Keepers, and supposedly we're supposed to get three inch hail. Potential, potential of anywhere from one to three inch hail. By the way, possible. 
I really like that hat. I've never seen you wear that I was that saying before. that earlier, yeah. and I was just overlooked. I was like, bro, I like that hat. Yeah. Do you, do you know how much I paid for this? I don't Probably know. Probably less the than I spent on a hat. Three dollars and fifty cents, including shipping from Timu. I don't know what Timu is. Timu is this new China attached to every site. They get all your information if you download the app on your phone. What? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's a blow one. Yeah, I, I felt it. Me and uh, one of the house renovators was like, he's like, bro, I feel it. Like, it wasn't even raining yet, but all the front was in. Well, I mean, I felt it in my hip. My shoulder was just like on fire. And I was like, can I have all this stuff? Holy cow, we got two coming through. It's supposed to be going until about 5 o'clock in the morning for okay. all of our area. It shows till three so far, but we've got two severe storms that are going to pass through us. It just fucking radiates through my arm, though. That's so funny. Just, yeah. Is it radiating all the way down here, too? Because that's, that's the problem I'm having with my neck, and yeah. I actually have to have surgery for all it. All right, you know what? Fuck all y'all shit. Let's talk about books. Oh, we've we been trying to talk about books. We didn't want to talk about books. Of course. It's like, oh, jeez. Fuck. All right, sure. You know what? Let's, I mean, what I'm book are you not reading? I'm so excited for your book talk. Well, we need to do a book talk on or, or any of the books he's not reading. Uh, crickets. I mean, there's tons of books I'm not reading. Not really into romance. I don't read many romance. Yeah. Right, hey, have you heard about book talk? Like book talk girls and yeah, like, no, we yeah. we did this on podcast. We, we talked we, about this. Okay, I, I, I you were remember. there. I don't you, remember who I talked to about this. This is ridiculous. We, we talked to about the fourteen-year-old that was there. If you watched the podcast, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't watch the podcast too much. No, too much. Too much. I, it's you know what? It's like have you have you ever seen the inter- interviews with actors though? Like they have a hard time watching the films that they're in. Really? Yeah, they're like. I'll go and watch the premiere, and then I will never again watch the Unless movie their again. kids want to watch it with them. Right. So, I mean... And I, I'm they, just like... But wait, wait. You said the premiere. What do we all do? We all review it. That yeah. is our premiere. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm I'm starting to do that. Or else we're... <laughs> I've watched three episodes. Look, by the time Nine, I ten, get to it, because most of the time I'm the last one that gets to it, I will totally just be like, and we're going. And it's... <laughs> Kel doesn't say anything, so I guess we're good. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we're fine. And book talk. So, when do we normally have it up to review? Wednesday afternoon. Well, we're in a group morning? chat. We, so we normally we... get up Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. And at this point, one of the two, you will be. Hey, it's up, and then yeah. we'll review. It. And by the time I do the thumbnail, the title, and the description, I'm publishing after that. Okay. So as long as there's no. And we can always schedule for a publish to be. At oh yeah, yeah. A Friday. Time yeah, on whenever. Friday or I, if we start getting ahead, it's Friday next Friday next Friday next Friday. And bro, for fifty two weeks in advance, then cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, we take a fifty two week vacation. No, we don't. Go to the Bahamas. This just means we jump on one of our other channels and start pushing more of that. Yeah, more content. More content. More you content. never hit burnout that way. Yeah. No, never. <laughs> But, well, I mean, if you do different things, it's nice. We can go thing. to Cosmo and do a... Cosmo? Yeah. Oh, Don't dude, Cosmo. okay. Don't bring up the cruise line. The no, I'm cruise not bringing line. up the cruise line. Oh, like that. cruise podcast? <gasps> that would be cool. Uh, I'm not so sure. I don't think so. I don't think I want to do that. I would never want to do that. Not even in a suite. No? No. Like the three room suites, I wouldn't even want to do it that way. Like if we did a daytime podcast out in the middle of the ocean, where like the ocean is the background, that would be cool. I mean, that'd, that'd be, be cool. Dope. I mean, yeah, but then we did it on like a beach or something. That'd yeah, be cool. on a beach, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be pimp. But I mean, then we're talking. You also have to check your stuff in and out. So yeah. and it being all this electricity, all this electricity, all these batteries, all these cameras. And then if we make money in there, we there's taxes you'd have to pay possibly in the area, depending on how much value you make. Like there's no, a lot more into You're it. not making money being there. You're making money when you're here because you post it here. I mean, we can burn that if, bridge when we cross it. If because me and Mike have talked about doing a camp cast at Yellowstone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, here's the other thing too. Like if you do if you if you make money in international waters 
but that's international not waters. taxable. You're not talking about a different country at this point. Yeah, no, that's not a different country. You're still a resident of X country, and your business is still in X country. Ah. Uh, so, you know, it's not like selling drugs, right? That makes horrible sense, but it makes sense. <laughs> You know, you know, I hate to rain on your parade, bro. We're all military. We all we all understand. We we all get it. If it makes sense, it's the wrong way, right? Yeah, it's definitely the wrong solution. You'd be <laughs> like, Sarge, Sarge, I think it'd be smarter to do it this way. I don't give a shit. Just do it the way I told you to. Yeah. Rawr, Sarge. <laughs> Rawr. Yeah. Who? Cool. Yeah. We've been doing this for 100 years plus. We know what the fuck we're doing. Now you do it our way. So, I sent him the link earlier, but uh, Amazon will send you prefab houses. And you know, here we go. We'll look how that is in this one. And it's here. The link's going to be here. Oh, you're going to have him at home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. I was like, what? Hey, I can do we, it. We've seen you can do the cool little... Now I'll I'm do spoiled. It. <laughs> I'll do it. I ain't got no problems putting graphics on. Hey, I mean, speaking of graphics, if hey, you need a graphic, let me we're, know. We're just going to blow past the Amazon houses? <clears throat> Nothing? Well, no, we'll get back to it. But you know my memory is shit. <laughs> my, my, we're going to do that to the fuck. No, we're going to do that to the... Look, I have a segue into this because I want to go into South America, which touches Amazon and how there's South American countries in crisis right now. The first Tesla showed up in Venezuela. And guess who's in a monetary crisis? Venezuela. You know what else is around Venezuela? Brazilian Amazon or rainforest. Now let's go back to <laughs> this house off Amazon. No, wait. wait so. Now I'm forgetting what I was thinking about. Oh, see, perfect. Yeah, we didn't, need, we didn't need that. Uh, so what, what oh, is this? Fuck, Which country fuck was the it? like button. Venezuela. But we'll talk about that off camera. We're on camera. We're recording right now. We'll hey. talk about all this off camera. Don't forget to fuck that like button. Man. Wow, he stole your line. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Make up your own line. <laughs> Just call it away. Be your own person. <laughs> Tickle them balls. <laughs> Tickle that like button. Tickle that like button. There you go. He does comments. I do the like button. You got to get something else, man. Okay, tickle the palm. <laughs> the palm. Yeah, because when you... Oh, the thumbs up? The palm. What about the subscribe? <laughs> subscribe? Yeah, tickle the subscribe. Tickle the subscribe. Yes. <laughs> That's actually... Hey, tickle that subscribe so you can get more content. <laughs> and hit us up on just YouTube. We're just on YouTube. We're also on Instagram, but, you know, find us there. <laughs> well, my dogs are on Instagram. Yes, Cobble and Pearl. And friends. Cobble, Pearl, and friends. Yeah. I just posted a picture of old man cat. Just sitting. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I'm over there just looking. I'm scrolling through. Oh, there's a mic. There's a mic. There's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, those seriously bright up my day. It's like, when I go out to a smoke, and it's like, I'm not going to the smoke, but I'm going to my car. I need to That was bingo, phone. right? Yeah. Yeah, he's 19 this year. He's flirting with death. He is, I, but I, he's he, still got pep in his so step. Like, so Mike's like, I moved in this house. I left the doors open. I have Fuck cat it. doors. Just die. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I love you, cat, but just die. Like, y'all have heard him scream, right? Yes. Like, where he's just like, <laughs> So, like, like a damn alley go, cat. He'll go to the litter box, and he'll come out of it, and he'll look at me and go, <laughs> And I'm like, like, are you having trouble? What's going on, man? Litter's having, clean. He's having tremors over here. <laughs> I know he gets upset if the litter box is dirty. Like, he gets onto my ass if the litter well, box is I dirty. Well, I mean, he just went and made it dirty. He's like, hey, get in there and clean it. <laughs> That's why I got an automatic box, because I don't want to deal with that shit all the time. Did your friend buy the box that we had? The iRobot? I uh, have or... no idea. Because I know you asked for the link and I sent it. Yeah, to I have you. no idea. My friend was Ginger. Do you to know the, who that is? To the point that... Kelp changed the litter box when we were out. Or he changed something in there. I changed the, the, the bag. Yeah, he changed the bag because it just takes a little trash. And then Jess it. is like, hey, can you add more litter? It's telling me it needs more litter. <laughs> and I'm like, but it was so common. Fuck, everything on here tells you everything I'm doing. Shit. He's over here getting snitched on. Yeah, I'm surprised you're not just going full on smart house with this renovation. I mean, don't put it past Keeper. 
This is just don't give him any more ideas because before I, you know it, there's gonna be LEDs in every room. No, I am. I am gonna get smart light bulbs though. I do like that. I have the light switches and being able to go Alexa. Oh, that's live. good. And just being able Bang to bang the mic on the on like, the counter. Alexa, turn off light in this room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I can be in bed before the monsters get me when I turn off the light. Yeah. My my sixty seven. Oh, I I embrace the darkness. I mean, don't get me wrong. Hello. I leave the I leave the closet door open. I can't. I don't because I just walk around at night. The monsters are in the closet. (laughs) Close the door. It makes sense. Pearl, get your ass over here, girl. Come here. I hate small spaces. You got skeletons. Come here. And they're all over here. Over here. No, that's not over here. She's coming. She That's should. a wall. Come here. If Kel moved his feet out of the dog bed, Pearl. she'd totally have room. Pearl, really, get your ass over here. Right here. There's more than enough room in that extra, extra large anxiety. She's that... smacking you with her tail? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's a, a whip. whip. It's a whip, bro. Holy shit. Like, it's... I'm going to bruise marks on my no. shit. We do have pizza on the stove, by the way. Yeah, I know. So when we... That I'm definitely... Can I have a piece? Yeah, when we I break three freaking pizzas. Okay, so because they're remodeling the house. No, you're not allowed to eat. When I get up, no <laughs> cookies for you. I'm fine with that. <laughs> He's got Papa John's in there, and a, a pepperoni stuffed crust. Papa John's garlic Wait, stuffed crust. And he has got. When did they start? And he's got gutter. Jess bought it for me the other day because we we're just. It's like we started Reno, started doing all this stuff, and I'm over here just like, what do you want for dinner? I don't know. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. She's like. It's pizza time. This is the first time we've actually ate out in a while. I was like, fuck it. Why not? We've been decent. So she orders Papa John's, gets here. One pizza, stuffed crust. Oh, you have stuff. I didn't know because I was like, oh, it's just Papa John's dipping the garlic. Yeah. Yeah. And then I get to the crust and I was like, it's stuffed crust. (laughs) (laughs) Tears streaming down your face. I was so happy. There's not a better advertisement for Papa John's than that. Like, like, like everybody jokes around, guys don't get flowers until they're like dead. And it was like, no, no, no. Buy me stuffed crust pizza. Yeah, no, honestly, if you get me food, I'm, I'm a fucking whore. Hey, so y'all hear it first here, now, when I die, in lieu of flowers. Papa John's. Do my catering, Papa John's. Papa John's stuffed crust pizza. Whatever, it, just damn, have a good damn, damn garlic. Time. It's garlic stuffed crust, and I was like, <sighs> "So yeah. is the cheese got garlic in it, or no? It's it's crusted. The crust is the gar- crust is. garlic. Okay, and then the cheese inside is just normal. So it's a butter garlic that they brush around the crust. I mean, that'd be my guess. Something. All I know is when I ordered it today, I was like, oh, "I'm getting fucking stuffed crust." And I got three. And then he got here, and he's like, <laughs> "Well, because I was like, look, I will order three. I'm doing the guys here. They're doing the construction. I got the podcast tonight, and we're just gonna be good. Hey, do y'all ever like go to open your camera app? It like is facing back at you, Selfie. and you and you're like, ugh. <laughs> I've never had I mean, that problem. Uh, <laughs> no. Nope. However, I, I have, mean, I have opened up my camera app, and it's faced me, and my screen cracked. Well, I don't, mean, don't ask me how that. Yeah, happened. that's weird. Weird. Do you have no mirrors around your house as well? <laughs> I have lots of mirrors. <laughs> so we have a mirror that taking everything off the walls for painting and all this. I grabbed a mirror and I put it in Wink. our HVAC unit, like there where our HVAC is. Yeah. And the guys are like, why are you doing that? This is Jess's grandfather's. If it breaks, I'm fucking dead. Yeah, it's the end of the world. It was like, so the safest place is the last place I would ever put anything in the HVAC. Is it going to yeah. get dusty? Oh, well, yeah, sure. Yeah. But it's safe. What is it? It's a mirror. It's oh. grandpa grandpa mirror. It's a haunted mirror, probably. It's just a safe spot to put a mirror. Grandpa's <laughs> can, spirit is in that, the mirror. You put that on a wall and go in there. And it's say, normally right here. It's a mirror that normally is right yeah. before my office. Oh, right here. Okay. Oh, but, wow. Hey, hey, boys. Intermission time. Is it hey, good. Or? I got to pee. Enough. Friday. Stop. Was he? I'm over here just feeding for the fucking Friday night. Oh, yeah, I know. 
I'm just like, mm, I really use that Friday. We've talked about it before. It's just like, let's just shoot a podcast. Let's just go. Yeah. And like, we won't even have topics, nothing. We're just like, I just, let's just do something. Record something. Yeah. I, I, I didn't, I didn't really do shit all week. And I looked at one thing. And the funniest part is we talked most about it on the phone. I did look up the Venezuela thing, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I got a headache. It's that pizza. Yeah, it might be the storm. Um, it could also be the liquor. pressure. Yeah. Because I had the same thing, and I've been fine all day. Ooh, my knee has been... Surprisingly, this is the first time the storm has blown in, and my knees haven't been fucking with me. <clears throat> My knees hurt, but they are no way in comparison to my shoulder. Like, mm-hmm. the metal just radiates, so I get to go down here. No, my and hips... And then it builds my head. My hips hurt all day. So that's good. Well, that's from being a better of the table by the army. Oh, yeah, it just... Which just means the Air Force rejected me yesterday. Big green dick. I wouldn't know anything about a big green dick. Getting fucked what are you talking about? Or Yours or is... Navy stands for never again volunteer yourself. <laughs> I don't volunteer. <laughs> yeah, bro. Get fucked. You ain't going out there now. You can see through the crack. That's it. She's, that's what she's doing. She's like, I smell it coming through that crack. It was so creepy. I'm taking a shower and my kid's just over here like this. <laughs> you can't see anything. The curtain's there, but it's still well, just... Welcome to having kids. Yay. Uh, I'm surprised she's not opening the door yet and like, Dad... So I will never buy the handles now because at my in-law's house, they have the, the handles, the flange yeah. handles, and she can just open whatever she wants. And I was like, guess what I'm never owning without a thumbprint lock? Flange handles. Yeah. Well, I mean, just get little turn locks from the inside. I could do that too. You yeah. can get the handles with the little flip switch lock on it. I have thumbprint locks that I normally have for the office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which realistically, when we That's, open to our next house, be for the studio and the three of us. No man have access to it. Stop your whining. I ain't beat a dog all, all day. day. Bingo. That's it. I'm totally gonna make it freaking. <laughs> we should, you're right. I now I get you're talking about bingo over here. Mike bingo. Because Mike said this. We call these Boy days, Scout bingo. Boy Scout bingo. Keeper bingo and kelp bingo. I'm in danger. <laughs> and you drink every time it comes to one of those. We'll have to, oh I'll have to make something like that up. Yeah. Like, every, anytime drink. somebody crosses something off, you got to drink. Anytime drink. some, anytime kelp says something stupid. Well, we don't have enough whiskey. You got, like, y'all are going to be drunk as fuck before we even start. Two minutes so, in. I somewhere still have, and I discovered it. It's a, um, it's, it's the Pokemon game board. I found my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Hold on. It's the Pokemon game board. And the when I cardboard s- one? No. Let me finish. Not the cardboard one. No. This is some game board that someone made online somewhere. Oh, okay. And it's, it's a drinking game. And it's like fucking, you know, you go one space. Uh, Mewtwo scratches you. Take a drink. And it's like you get to the Elite Four... And it's like, you're, out of your mind. you're like, you didn't roll a four, take a drink, you know, and you're like, I have played all the way through one game on that game board, because I did, like, I, I took the image and I went to freaking Office Max, I got printed out and laminated it up big, and and it was on my wall for the longest time, I think I've got it in like a poster roll up somewhere. <clears throat> we were having a conversation, this reminds me of the conversation we were having earlier today, games, just realistic fucking games. Like, if we seriously had a dad, like, something happened to one of your kids. Yeah. A dad and his buddies come out. They're they're just his drinking buddies. They're oh, just, dude. They're just like, it's fuck it Friday. It would be like, like, Left for Dead, but instead of like, you know, fighting zombies or something, it'd be like, assemble your team. The Chad dad. The ex-football star. <laughs> I can tell you just see their poses and it's just like your baker what was it your barbecue dad <laughs> tink 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 <laughs> or this nine to five banker just click 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 it was, oh it'd be fucking comical oh yeah and it was just like censor your drinking buddies 
What would you use for health potions? Beer. 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 <laughs> and if you find a whiskey bottle, oh, you get like superpowers. Yeah, no, no, it's like super, seconds super charged. <laughs> Come on, lady. We need to get Kel on Steam, even if it's just a Steam Deck. Get him to start playing some real games. Yeah, turn him into a real boy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we 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 skipped book talk. Y'all talked me out of it the first time. I wanted to talk book talk. Whoa, whoa, talked whoa, whoa! Talked talk. you out of it. <laughs> <laughs> We've both were like, so oh, book talk. Hey, what's on the back of my neck? Book talk. Um, it looks like a bitch. No, it's just a, it's just a skin growth. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's just skin overgrowing, probably a scab or something. Okay, that works. That's works. It's just where the vampire bit me, right? Back of the neck. Chupacabra. I mean, it's weird that the Navy guy bit you, but... <laughs> Look, I'm all, not tall enough to reach. Shut all, the fuck door. When he's laying, when he's horizontal, hey, you know what? That's why you guys have names on your butt, so you know who you're fucking... So it doesn't I, matter when the pants are down. But book talk. <laughs> We've skipped book talk. I want to know what he's read. Hey, it's not gay as long as one of you's crying. It's not gay if you're wearing dog tags. <laughs> it's not gay as long as your balls don't touch. It's not gay if you're wearing socks. <laughs> uh, it, it's not gay as long as you don't look each other in the eye. It's only gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's only gay. You can't look in her eye now, can you? <laughs> It's only gay if your nose touches. <laughs> it's uh, it's not gay as long as one of you's crying. It's only gay if you wear the same toothbrush. Uh, it's not gay if you spit. It's only gay if you swallow. <laughs> Are we back on that spitter? <laughs> swallow. <laughs> By the way, spitter swallow. Last podcast, fucking hilarious. Oh yeah, spitter swallow. Uh, anyway, so that was talk. horrible. Was so he can spit and swallow. It, no. <laughs> was spit, spit and swallow. No, there was actually similar topic in that book series. If it's the same one we were talking about earlier. Yeah. So I want to talk about the uh, superpower book series. I mostly want to talk about this because I know you can actually talk about it. Kel doesn't know what books are. He he's Navy. He's like sister to the Marines. So I can't knows, read. Yeah, he knows on <laughs> fucking. <laughs> they eat crowns, I eat markers. We, we need to find a Marine just. to be on here. Oh, we and do. just. Me too. Yeah, what did he just, say? He was like, well, he just said he wants to go hunt. <laughs> tech said, I talked to Tech, and Tech said he would come on. Oh, shoot. So we have someone. <laughs> yep. He lives out He lives out by Kerrville, Bandera. Uh, he lives uh, by Lackland. He lives behind Lackland. Okay, well, I mean, shoot, one of these times we'll get him out. So, but book talk, superpowers. Superpowers. And I know tech reads, so. So, superpowers. Yeah, I just stay out of the conversation. Superpowers is based in a world with people who have superpowers, right? And so superheroes are a thing. Your genetic code, you have superpower. Yeah, so something happened in, like, the 1940s at some point in... Everyone who had had superpowers this entire time came out of the woodwork, and they're like, "Yeah, no, we're going to, we're going to form a superhero thing, superhero guild." Superhero so it's just guild. like how uh, Sp- Spider Man and Superman were like. Formed. So I want you well, to, I want no. you to, let's not talk about Spider-Man anything DC or Marvel. One um, is an alien; the other one was a uh, radioactive spider. This is genetic code. So you are born, and you have superpowers. Or so, on Earth. Okay, so there's a movie out about that. Okay, let's not deviate from the book code. too much. <laughs> okay. Because I know how we do things. Because I've watched movies. Y'all like to watch Okay, well, books. when when it comes from a book, then you can be like, okay, well, this movie is similar. Then cool, we can jump from there and then jump back and show similarities and compare then. Okay. But continue. Right. Superpowers. So superpowers... Superpowers. I hope the mic picked that up. It was a good thunder. That that was good thunder, because the bolt of lightning still hasn't come yet. Nice. Oh, what the? F- That's the miles thing. away. The lightning has to hit before the thunder. Rolls. You're gonna see. You're gonna see lightning before you see before the thunder. Oh, then that was lightning shit. Because the lightning was a minute ago. Because because <laughs> I saw the lightning. I was like, ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, because. Light travels faster than sound. 
The lightning okay, strikes. Just in the Air Force. I know that y'all have and the best education. We talked about the chair from when I was in the Air Force. Doom, I doom, left doom. and that was the chair I sat in forever. Um, but it's superpowered. We start so, with so, so a world that's similar to Earth. Yeah, and sim- people similar are to born Earth. Born with powers, and then you have your. I don't know. You what would you? Even, they're uh, powers. So yeah, yeah, they they call them power. You have your supers and you have your powers. Supers are people who have control of their powers. Powers are people who they have some ability, but they have zero control over it. And so the story begins by following these four kids, five kids. What is five kids? Five. Because kids. I, my belief, so, so recognition the, the is L- because they had a multitude, and then one I thought never came. Okay, so it was the the psychic girl. Yes. The kid who turned into another kid. Yeah, Roy and. Herschel. Herschel. And then you had... Um, the flying girl. The, the flying girl, the luck guy. The luck guy. Who was adopted Nick. by a... Yep, Nick Casino. Um, and then you had the elemental guy. Yes. Okay, so yeah. Five, whatever you put into him, he's going to expel. So five, five guys who... Five kids who are... Take part in a experiment, experiment, a human experiment. It's it's a big Captain America type vibe of that. Yeah, a little, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, where they're trying, they're testing out this procedure to give powers control of their power, of their abilities, of their There's abilities. Abilities is what they described it as, and they were gone for a whole summer, and now you're going to college. Yeah. So the the way that the superhero organization in the United States in this universe does it is instead of just, oh, well, you train for two weeks and now go hit the streets and be a superhero. No, they break it down. Like, I'll give this... Which sp- goes into Spider-Man. Spider-Man, yeah. two weeks, boom. You, yeah. You're... And I, I'll give the... Did, who was the author again? I can pull up my hand was it, handy. Was it Drew Hayes? Yes. Yeah, it was, it was Drew Hayes. Which is still one of my favorite authors. He's very good. So he did an excellent breakdown of not just like superheroes and like a proper implement, like training and implementation program going through college, you know, like a four year program to get from these kids don't know how to superhero to we're superheroes now, right? But but that's supers. I mean, this is about. Like so, we we hear about well, them well, babies. But, but yeah, these so these are powers. Yeah, so like so, some of their parents are supers. Yes, and their kids only come off with a portion that they can't control. Right, but I'm trying to give the framework of the. Of well, no, the, and that's where I was going with yeah. this. Like, so you got, just 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 so I understand, and some of the audience may be like, "Shut the fuck up, Kelp. Shut the fuck up, Kelp. Um, because they get your book talks and they get the book stuff. I don't because I don't do that. You don't know how to read. Yeah. I, I got a fifth grade reading. Hey, Pearl. Just is out there. Come here. Um, if you like superheroes. So there's a there's a show called Raising Someone and it's it's about a kid who once he reaches a certain age, and there's several shows or movies that are about this where, where but the, but when the they difference. reach a certain age, then they start getting superpowers and they yes. don't know how to control it. And so I, I know like where you're power. going with this. The difference is they have the ability to control it. Now imagine, because one of the cases is one person has random teleportation at any given moment when he sneezes. Could you imagine holding a conversation? <laughs> and then you're sneezing. And, and I'm in the middle of a bank. Yeah, I'm not but, trying to rob it. But that's or or you're across the world, so it doesn't matter. Like you don't have a stable life because your power completely controls. Or if you're so happy, you start floating away. One of the people in this book, it the moment they start getting elated, they're joyful, they're they're happy, they just start floating away. But I I do want to get down to to the breakdown the of, of, yeah, of the world. I want to talk about the world and how I like how he broke down because he didn't just break down the supers in their training, right? Because yeah, he did he, an excellent job of oh, breaking he, down the. But he touched on the villains. He touched on the world. He touched how on the world. Solid. How other countries tried to implement like like different versions of the superhero program. How and companies what, companies was the other one. Yes. How companies. 
took advantage of like hiring people, you know, to who had specialty powers, right? Yeah, you know, four miles away. Um, back to the store. <laughs> so it, they they do it. They touch on all the support elements that are normally glossed over for everything superhero related. When you have these big pro girl, girl, this lady, if you. If you want to get into book reading, I will 100% recommend this book because I was looking for a book. Mike was like, oh, you should start reading this. He's like, bro, books just don't hit me. Like, I don't get into books. Yeah. Superpowers. I'll, so give, you, you, I'll give you access to my Audible. Check it out, bro. Like, It's on Audible? It's on Audible. So I'll just download it. I know, like, no credits. joke. I was just like... I, I told him when I was reading the book the first week, because I think I read through this book so fucking fast. Like yeah, I mean, you burned through them fast. I sat in the car at work for another 30 minutes because What's I was like, it called? Superpowers. Superpowers. By Drew Hayes. Yep. I think there's four books, and then there's an additional book, which is... Um, it's about one of the kids' dad. It's about one of the kids' dads. And that, that touches more on the Corpses. actual... Corpses. Yeah, Corpies. Corpies, that's what it is, which is corporations. But so there's three books. Well, there's four books, right? You yes, two. there's four books talking about their five. college year and five, yeah, five. being corpsy, corpies. Because you've got year one through four and then you've got corpies. Unlocked. Is there a new one? Is there another one? Yeah, Superpowers Un... Oh, that's not, that's not true, Hayes. Oh, okay. okay. Well, so you've got mind. year one through year four. Yes, and that's their college years going from um, pre-freshman into freshmen all the way to their senior year and the levels that they have to go through their training while still doing college work. It, you know, there, there's like, there's a big bad and there's a bigger overarching story just out, outside of just their training. Right. So, yeah. But, but it's, it's one that will, are you watching Percy Jackson with your kids on Disney? That, but an audio book on crack. Like wow! Like, like they, I I can't explain it any other way. They so do all characters these, all very these are well. Free. They're free right now. Yeah, you probably have a subscription somewhere then. I do have a subscription, but normally when I download, oh, there it is. But great fucking book. So year one <laughs> is free on Audible. Oh, good. If enough to catch you. Yeah, enough it's to like, get you. Hey, Mike, come with me. And the then world. it's That's one credit fun. for the for the other. Th it's one credit for each one. Fun. I'm sharing my audible with my sister. Yeah. Because they're broke. She's going to have the military deal with all this. She was like, holy shit. Cause she read super. I say she read. She audible super yeah. power four days straight. And she was just like, I didn't sleep for two days. <laughs> like she fucking powered through this. And she's, she's a special education teacher. Yeah. And she was like, I have one AirPod in and I'm just charging through this. And she was just like, the kids over here throwing shit at me. And I'm just like, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. <laughs> it was like, but the book's so good, I'm not going to yell at them. Like, like, I love the book series to the point that I told Mike, I was just like, you got more of those, those books? <laughs> you got those books, bro? Well, I think, I think you should probably listen to Harnessing Your Adult ADHD Superpowers. <laughs> it's it's a book do. on here. That's, that's why I tell Jess is like I can only focus on one thing at a time because if I don't like even when I was moving stuff into the garage yeah. I was like Ruth's room and I'm just I'm bouncing all around the house and I know I'm bad at that because then my dogs will be following me and it's just like what okay so but Superpowered seriously is a great fucking series because it talks about the issues that they deal with yeah it talks about PTSD it, it talks about yeah no it, which, it is it is seriously no a covers. veteran fucking book like if you're getting into books you're a veteran you're trying to cope with society and what you're getting into again it's great I totally screwed up so if you guys get into this on audible there are two versions there is the regular version, year one through four, but then there's year one through four dramatized adaptation. Ooh, that's don't what think I, I listened that's to. That's what that I, one. I told you. I was like, because this has multiple voice actors. And that's what yeah. I was telling him. He was like, 
they didn't have that. And I was like, bro, change. Have you heard the Snoop Dogg is reading the Bible now? Like on Audible, he's like, you can get the Snoop Dogg edition. (laughs) <laughs> the Bible. So, so I've actually had a few series where I've gone through and I've got to look at the other one that I, that you recommended after that. That was just fucking gold because Super Howard's was gold and it got me into reading again. And then the second one, I think there's like sixteen chapters. Oh, are you talking about Galaxy Outlaws? Galaxy Outlaws. Another one. If you did, you watch Firefly. Yes. I Did you so. enjoy it? I don't remember. Um, do you enjoy pirates? I do. Do you enjoy space? Nah. Did much. you enjoy Stargate SG One? No. I am not a Trekkie or a Stargate kind of. I watch Star Wars. But you enjoy pirates, right? Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. And you were, you're a Navy man, pirates. so I understand there's gonna be some things you like and dislike. <laughs> what the hell is that? No. So because I talked to my dad, like, my you like the penis. No, no. no so my dad, like my dad listened to Galaxy Outlaws, and he fucking loved it. He was like, "It's good because it has the pirate thing that the pirates, but they're entrepreneurs, and it's it's in space." My dad likes sci-fi. Yeah, and it's not so much Stargate, but it's more the space type exploration in a way okay. but you're an entrepreneur and you're a pirate at the end of the day I'm doing what gets me the most fucking so it's like a space pirate they're, they're, they're scummy merchants yeah like think of it more like that oh so it's like uh, like fuck. they're trying to scam people treasure planet they're trying to they're treasure trying planet to get type rich, scummy get rich who, quick who wants who wants to, uh, there, were, there was a group of people on Star Wars that were like that um, which one? The oh, I know who he's talking about. You're he's talking about, talking about the two bug eyes with the. No, he's talking about the ones with the big ears. Yes, yes. The they look like were, they're monkey rats or whatever. Yeah, the ones that were in Deep Space Nine all the time. You know, everyone's I'm, favorite Star Trek. I'm trying to think because all I can think is Jar Jar Binks with big ears. Who's the Sith Lord? Prove me wrong. Throw a comment down, down below if you think I'm wrong. But let's go. Okay, well let's continue. All right. Into what? Going back into well, superpowers. Yeah, so Venezuela. I, I want to talk about Venezuela because we see South America now becoming its own its own prominent existence into society now. Like it's it's becoming but how a so well because more, more so than drugs these, and cartels. No, no, yeah, so exactly, he was, actually. He was talking about a president I don't know, the past couple podcasts. Yeah. Right, the Argentinian president president. Yeah, but then there was another president. You were specifically talking about the Venezuelan the president. The Venezuelan, I believe it's Venezuela. So or was he, it El Salvador? It wasn't El Salvador. I can guarantee that one. It might have been Venezuela. But he was elected. They finally got out of their socialist regime, uh-huh. and that's the best way to say it. And he's been fucking rocking it. He's like, we're getting rid of all these programs. A little backstory: we're getting rid of all these programs. We're doing just what's good. Yeah, it was out Argentina. Of, yeah, had a positive protest. So the same thing. He's doing the same thing the Argentinian president is doing. No, we we are talking about the Argentinian oh, okay. president. Yeah, but he had a positive protest outside of his office, and everybody's just praising him. Like most protests are. So it wasn't negative. really a protest, and it was a celebratory. Chanting. We live in America. Every mass populace in a for certain areas a protest, and news will bend it wherever. Girl, say positive protest. Stop, girl. You no. gotta stop. You no. got to stop. Girl. Venezuela, because no. that was Argentina. Um, Venezuela had there's they a don't. couple breaks this past two weeks. They no. had their first Tesla show up there. Okay. Which okay, good. They have a power grid enough for someone to sell cars. I mean, that's not important because no one gives a shit about Teslas. But we jump into or that shitty truck they came out with. I love their Cybertruck. It looks like a warthog it from looks, Halo. It looks it like looks a piece ugly of shit. shit. It's I will ugly totally shit. The, the gaps on the freaking <clears throat> make. It's Did you just see how shitty... easy it rolls over? It rolls over easier than any SUV on the road. I owned a Jeep, bro. You think I care about rolling? It over? rolls over more than a, it, it. It has the potential to roll over more. Bro, than not a Jeep. what I'm talking about. Anyway, okay. It's like so they got a, they got a Tesla, but they got a Tesla in the country, and now their big issue right now. 
is their financial issue is major. Like it doesn't, there's so much of an issue that they're potentially going bankrupt. So nice. who's going bankrupt? Venezuela or Tesla? Not, not Argentina. Um, Venezuela. So oh, okay. one of those. One of those countries? Yeah, one of those Ch- countries. Chile. Not Peru. Not Peru. Peru, though. What about Peru? So we're hiring someone that went to Peru. All the delays just in Peru <coughs> over the past two weeks because he was there for two days. He spent two weeks there. He, went, he, he, went, to he went there for two days? He went there for two days. Either couldn't find a flight crew. Flights were delayed. Flights were canceled. No flight crew again. And it was like, bro, I just need you to sign the contract. Like, they're breathing down my neck. It's like, because it's it's a Linux guy we've talked about. It's like, we're yeah. trying to get him in. And it's like, I understand the internet speeds. I about near died. Because what y'all need is an entry-level Linux admin. He's not entry-level. He He's worked at a couple three letters. He's medium. Now, you level... I put you at God, and I put him. Compared I'm, to you, he's low. I'm definitely not God level. Okay, because I've known God level. I'm not sitting there fucking making my own kernels. I didn't say you. I oh. said me. The way I would compare the two of you, I would put you at God, and I'd put him at low. Okay. Now, if we look in the grand scheme of things, I'd put you at high, and I'd put him at medium to low. I'd put him in between there. Y'all need a high level. Engineer. Well, you know what? Once we merge companies, it'll be fine, and we'll be in the same spot because better pay they're me more. already fucking talking about it. Yeah, better pay me more. But I'm like, bro, I need you to sign the contract. He's like, I called him. I was like, bro, did you not give me email? I get twenty kilobytes per second. Twenty. Twenty. Two zero. Two zero. Fuck, man. He was like... Is that more than a megabyte or is that less? That's less. That's so less it's than less than dial So here... That's satellite. 1970s. Speed. Here we come. Most most dial-up is faster than most speeds in third world internet speeds. Well, they're yeah. getting satellite internet. No. No. That's slower than satellite They're internet. getting wire. Snail mail. Postage. That, that the is joke sending, is postage is faster. That is sending internet over a telephone line. Oh, wow. That's, That's what that is. Well, I mean, that was what dial-up was back in the day. But we have way more telephone lines here. Intermission! The That's, five... um... Go ahead. That's not... Is that a, a original graphic, or did you pull that from somewhere? I pay for it. Oh, you paid for that. Okay, yeah. good, good. Then we're good there. I paid for a all the graphics I pulled list, and that's where I got it. Oh no, including the ribbons, by the way, for our suicide awareness. Yeah, that is a you can use the suicide awareness ribbon, and that is good and clear. They have no problem pushing it out. Right. Um, so everything that I do, I pay oh. for. Mm-hmm. Now. It goes cholo low. If if we get to a point where we're making money, then we've got to upgrade the subscriptions for the graphics and the music and all that stuff. Okay. But and we'll burn that bridge when we get there. It's five hundred dollars a year for the for the upgraded versions. But oh no, that's like what thirty five dollars a month. Yeah, no, no that's, that's less. Than I don't that. have five hundred dollars well, at any given time to do something. No, like but that. that's no, I. I when, mean, I do. <clears throat> I just threw <laughs> I was sitting like, Fuck I was you, sitting, Mike. I was sitting there going like, man, I don't know if I like these lights anymore. Should I buy those lights? So or our our backlights? I was like, eh, I'll hold off on it for right I now. I put these lights on credit so I could pay them off over the course of six months. <laughs> I was just gonna do it. <laughs> so to give you an idea, like we're dealing Asshole. with our renovation <laughs> and one bank account that I have was like I'm, I'm not so you're out of transferring money, you can't transfer money this quality unless you use a check. Yeah. And I was like, fuck it, let's go to the other bank account. And this is like my deposits, not my savings bank account. And I was just like, Oh, here you go, Nas. We'll, we'll do it this way. Here you go, here's a thousand dollars. But that's you gotta understand, we have a different work life and we're not we don't care if you're 
less or you're no. more is like we just want we care about who the people are and We're, that's why me and mike are some of fucking unicorns out there because if you're dirt broke we don't care we don't even care if you just I provide care, the best you can but you are providing a value that me and mike didn't know it wasn't the seo tags was one of them yeah and then you're like oh by the way graphic <laughs> and it's just like i looked at it i was like Oh, like <laughs> mouth watering. Like when me and Mike talked, when the video came out yeah. and you pushed it on the YouTube for review, it was like our biggest thing was just it sounded like a camp. It yeah. sounded like this, and we're over here talking, and is it was that was the only thing. Everything but, else I loved. But to be See, fair, it didn't sound like that on my computer. I had so it's, it's I have it sounded like that in pre in early episodes i had done audio and it sounded close to that agreed and so since then obviously i've yeah we've fixed. learned we've fixed onesie twosies so give give me another 9 months when apple drops the new gen 2 apple pro i think you're kind of high on that camera apple pod pro Am I like yeah you're, you're I, can, I can't see it i don't have my glasses i can't see it the AirPod Pro. Oh, that's too low. That's way too low. Oh, oh, well, then. But now you're the same height as us. <laughs> well, then, Cal, can you get up and fix that camera for our viewers? No, I mean, I'm still in the camera, right? Your head. Yeah, like, that's your head. Like, you can see my tattooed black arm. But, no, we need it raised. Raised a little bit. Because his head skirt in the flirt line. Oh my goodness, you have a head top. Oh. By the way, all my coworkers love that you're texting. They're like, <laughs> we got a Tennessee and we got a Texan. <laughs> Good thing we don't have another T-State because <laughs> fuck it. You'd all be on the same fucking podcast. <laughs> that works, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, I, I already told you that. I was talking to some of my coworkers, which are people that you know. Yeah. And uh, they... They think it's fucking hilarious. I checked on you guys' ticket. Yeah. I was checking on the word because me and you never talked, re re talked about what was going on. Yeah. So I I looked and I was like, so I look one of the VMware person's name and I was like, okay, he's not in there. All right, someone else. And I, okay, he's not in there. So so I'm looking at all these names and I was like, okay, cool. They're working it. This is what they're fixing. We messed up somewhere. Let's fix this. And I was like, okay, corporation issue. Yeah. It it went over our head. We completely just, meow, over our head. And I was like, okay, but you guys have access now from what I was reading. Access to? VMware tools, roughly. Yes. And yeah, we're good again. Because that, that's what I was reading. I was like, roughly, you guys have access to do your job again. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, I haven't heard any bitching and moaning. So that means... To me, something's right, so we're good there. But we got the camera fixed, and no, it's it's not a bash on. We're not trying to bash monetarily. We're just no. I, I don't want you. I don't feel that way. I don't want okay, you. Well, that's yeah. good. We're I don't want you to feel to... like uh, like I'm I'm sitting here going, I've got money and you don't. The only time me and him felt that way was at the camping trips, and honestly, you weren't the one that we felt that way with. No, because me and Mike would he'd supply like all the meat. Right. And alcohol, and I'd supply a bar. So, like, yeah. for me, and, and I'm sure it's, as somebody else would say, well, you, you know, you, you got to take care of that pride you got in there. But, uh, you, know, you, know who, yeah. you know who I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, I know. Uh, All of our mutual friends. Uh, I, I've, like, when we did camping at your place, oh, I've done one or two times it. there, and, and, that night I got drunk because it was too dark. I couldn't see what I was pouring. Oh, you called our mutual friend out, and me and Mike are just over here. And was was the comment you made? I drank more than everyone. I drank more than everyone. We showed up at noon. There was three because I looked at the photos. I because I Google photo everything. There's three mason jars empty of not just like there was no cream liqueur in there. No, no, no. This is just hard moonshine. Yeah, just moonshine. And I know I brought the blueberry jam one. Oh, man, it was The blueberry so good. vanilla one that I made. And that I must have been gone before I got there. Oh, yeah. We, that would have been drinking. We that. destroyed it. it destroyed was like, it. Me and Mike are like, oh, we're going to set up our yurts. 
and we set it up. <laughs> And, and then, then at 12 o'clock at night, we're no, setting up another yurt. <laughs> no, we're setting up our yurts. And it's just like, and half the bottle's gone. And me and Mike are just like, woo. So, <laughs> like, I think we had the pole sticking up on one tent. It wasn't even completely set. He was like, so you want to start cooking, like, sausages for us? I'm like, bro, it's one o'clock. I was like, like yeah, but. <laughs> but we were fucking slammed. So by the time everyone shows up. You and were you're good. And, oh, we're we fucking were, toast in these chairs. The chairs me and you were sitting in. Yeah. And it was just, we were toasted. And, and we had been drinking moonshine. We've Beer. been drinking whiskey. We've been drinking so many oh, beers. You're mixing so much shit. And we're just like, <laughs> we're hanging out by the fire and yeah. we have not moved. Me and Mike have the full T state rot gut. <laughs> it was like, just slamming, because I've been drinking beer and whiskey and scotch all at the same time tonight. And I'm fine. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a little bitch. Woo. And yeah, I'm you're, loving you're it. You're in your own home, so you're good. Oh, well, yeah. That's why we cycle from home to home. And yep. when you feel comfortable enough, I have no problem doing it at your place. I got a big backyard. And that's something we could yeah. potentially look for in the future. So that way you can get a little bit comfortable. And, and we can once you feel more comfortable. Yeah. But it was, it was hilarious. It was like, you're over here just like... And you did this wrong, and you did this wrong, and me and Mike are just Mike's over here, just like. <laughs> because at this point, all my pain meds are gone. I didn't. I've never bring pain meds on camping trips because I know I'm going to be drinking heavily. And you know, mixing pain meds with alcohol. Is it just gets to idea. your bloodstream faster, and it does mess with your liver. And it it's always a better idea. It can be. It can be dangerous. It can if be you're, dangerous if you're not. If you're not. Sure. Yeah, but Mike's over here just like, and I know he's getting more drunk <laughs> because it's no longer just like you're, hey, Mike, hey, Mike. No, it's just like, wow. <laughs> you hear this shit he's saying? And then like our mutual friend shows up and he's like, so who's going to set up my tent? <laughs> and me and Mike are just like, well, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are floating over here, bro. Where the prospects have <laughs> like her over here just rocking her chairs. Is like, don't pick me. Don't pick me. Oh, no. It wouldn't matter if they'd be like, hey, Mike, you want help? No. <laughs> this is my house. You're camping on my land. Yeah, no. You, but it, I'm fine. The, the name of this podcast is Life Beyond the Club. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? That's fine because... Because you can still have a life. You can. And I still have friends and I still have club members across multiple clubs that yep. we talk. I mean, shoot, two of them are doing renovations in my house. Yeah. Yep. But the biggest thing is you don't, just because you spend so much time in an organization, because me and someone at the Smoke Pit talked about this. He's about to retire, 20 years in the guard. Um, in about a week or so, they're about to do seven days army. He's army. It's about to do seven days camping for their, mm -hmm. uh, was it? Oh, he's going to do an FTX? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, well, I'm Air Force. You got to understand. I'm air conditioned, hotel. Oh. Like, you got to, yeah. I don't understand what FTX, FTX was. means. And he was like, no, I got to pack. I got to camp. I got to find someone to watch my cats. And yeah. I was like, oh, okay. And he was like, but this is my last one. And then I'm out in six months. I was like. Like 20 years you retired? Like, like some units do like 30 day. Woo. Like, like straight, like don't give a shit. So explain what FTX is so we can bring our audience into So this. FTX stands for field training exercise, right? But and exercise starts with an E. Army. 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 Army strong. Army. <laughs> Army strong. All right. We spell strong. We strong. Strong. But the the purpose is is to to go out and do you know movement exercise to do navigation exercise to do you know um, urban clearing exercises to do a lot of those training exercises that you know and a lot of those movements and things that you would have to do. To be familiar with what you would be expected to do downrange, mm -hmm. right? Um, or what you would be expected to do in the current theater, right? Yeah, you're talking and, like and that's what, or FTX or whatever. Yeah, or, that's their yeah. field training exercises. Right? I, I, knew, I knew a guy who he uh, was a track vehicle mechanic. That's what this guy is. 
Yeah. Track, track wheel, like like tanks. How long like been, tanks? Has he left? He's he's been gone for a minute. Okay, I was about to say we know the same dude. He's, no, he's no. working contracting. This with is me. my uh, ex roommate. Was this the one that came down? Yeah. Okay. Ex ex roommate, no okay. longer friend. The one oh so not the who's the one that came down? You no that's Tim. Bro, me and Tim just fucking hit it like no joke. You didn't even know his name. You gotta understand. I don't, I don't remember my own name half the time. I was like, what's my? I don't remember my own birthday. I have to look at my fucking ID card. But no, like this was the day I showed up to your house. You yeah. were picking up a buddy from the airport. Yeah. We were supposed to be. Was it no? We were just hanging out. Or we, we were just hanging out. out. And I was, I was like, I'm just gonna fucking go over. So I go over to your house. No, we were starting. No, we weren't doing the podcast. We yet. weren't doing the podcast yet. We were just hanging out. Friday night, we were just hanging out. Yeah, and I just, I showed up at his house, I crawled through his doggy door, Kava was, <laughs> Pearl was just like, Pearl was just like, fuck you, I'm through. And Kava's like, licking me to death. But like, because, he's but crawling, they know me. They he's, know me. He's crawling Pearl through like, the doggy door, and Pearl proceeds to crawl over him <laughs> as he's inside the doggy door. So it's an extra large doggy door. Yeah. Now, with my massive weight... Because I forgot my key at home. It's attached to my safe key, so I never lose it now. Because <laughs> I know where it's at. Yeah. I, I, I give the man a key so that he can get into my home, and he never carries the key. Because <laughs> I know he has a doggy door in the back, and I'm currently flexible enough or on enough pay meds that I'm like, fuck <laughs> it, why not? And again, you're ruining the mic. And but I do love you being on the we podcast. We love you on the podcast. Oh, well, now here comes Toby because Toby's like jealous. Yeah, put me on. That's jealous. his daughter. But no, I crawl through the doggy door. And at this point, I don't even tell him I'm at his house. I just send him pictures. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm at your house. Nope. Pictures of his dogs on my lap. <laughs> With his TV on, like I'm chilling in, in his recliner. <laughs> because this is where every time I come over, this is where he sits. Yeah. Like I'm sitting in his recliner with his dogs, his cats, and I have a beer out. And I'm like, cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it's the same way. It's like he yeah. messed me, he's like, hey bro, can I come over and just shower? Because he had, he was having water issues at the time. Right. He's like, These are the freeze, yeah. Bro, just fucking go. You got the code to my house. But I mean there's still the whole the respect thing, mm -hmm. and that's at the same point why I messaged him as like, "Hey, I'm at your house," because I don't want him and Tim to show up, and they just if they just want to be him, he's like, "Bro, can you just leave?" I would have been gone. Like, but but it did crack me up because I hadn't seen Tim in person in years. Like we called each other oh, every now and then. He's traveling all over from what me and he. Him so he he works for a he does um, networking computer maintenance for a research organization on boats dude, okay. in the middle in the middle of the ocean yeah, yeah dude, we're talking genius. about like we're, we're talking about frigates. like frigates uh we're talking about rigs we're okay. talking about um the boats that just sit out there for coastal watch coast guard wise <laughs> and like, he just he just maintains networks and shit and like like uh what is it called something marine but, marine but this is the other side of it is is that like if you're on a boat, you don't just do your job; you also do ship work too. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> we did that in the navy, right? Yeah. So you, you it, know you have your job, but like you also fill in where you need to fill in. But Mike walks in and he's like, "I got to take a massive shit," and Tim was like, "Fuck it, he's gonna be gone for an hour." <laughs> he's like, "Can I?" Can I bum a smoke? I burned the last one at the airport. Went on Mike. And I was like, sure. So I give him a cigarette. He was like, yeah, we plan on stopping one of the next couple of days to buy cigarettes. Because he bumped a cigarette for me. I was like, oh, oh, bummer. Like, I'm talking about, me and him were talking. Like, we were talking about everything we did, dirty deeds, Uncle Sam's misguided children. And we're just fucking chilling. And then Mike comes back. I was like, so how are you guys doing? And Tim goes, you can go back inside. We weren't done. <laughs> <laughs> so Tim's just good people, right? Oh, we were we were working on the ash thing. We were working on the ash thing because Stephen was Stephen like, Stephen was showed up. Over. He showed up after your poop. I I literally I told I told Tim I was like, yeah, you guys show up Friday. We're gonna work on we're gonna work on my dad's Mustang. <laughs> and that's what we did. 
there and there was a fuck and we talked about this on the podcast before, but there was a fucking squirrel's nest inside yeah, it. Yeah, so you if you know a before. proper V8 engine, it goes right. like this as a proper tool. And and usually there's a cover. And there's Would a you cover. stop going under my ass? No. No. She's gonna keep doing it. But no joke. You're violating. There were so many. I'm gonna call on there. I'm surprised the car hasn't started a fire. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like we filled up the shop vac. Twice. 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 You go under my ass with, and you're gonna have with chewed leaves. It was like that was massive. It was like so Steven's over there. He's getting he's getting real personal with this engine. <laughs> he reached in deep. He got Cause, deep. Because I got Elbow in there, deep. I put my hand in there, I was like, Stop it, I Toby. Pull out a chunk <laughs> of it. Hey. That was all Pearl. Pearl, lay your ass down. So I pull out a chunk full of leaves and I just throw it in the trash can. And then Steven, I love him to death. He goes, let's pull out Mike's shop back. And I was like, bro, you're a genius. He's like, well, you were Air Force. You should have thought about it first. <laughs> and then Tim goes, you were Air Force? Fuck you. <laughs> like, without, a, without a, even fucking thought. And I was like... So when you move into Texas, <laughs> because me and Mike both appreciate people that are just like, real, hey, like, yeah. So Jess ate some of these cookies and I was, and she's like, oh, we ate some of your cookies. I was like, which ones, <laughs> which ones? And she was like, oh, well, they're the shortbread ones. And I was like, they're not mine. They're Mike's. So she's like. Oh shit. <laughs> and I was like, look, this is how you respond to Mike. Tell him you ate his cookies. Say fuck you. I ate your cookies. Test as if they were poison. They're not poison. Me and me and Ruth both ate them. And I was like, and that's how you respond to a veteran right now. Because Well well, the funniest part of that communication <laughs> not always, though. So I, I don't know what the message the, was. The funniest part about she pretty much said what you said, right? But the funniest part about that is that at some point she sent me a picture of your kid and I was like I'm not my mother kid pics don't fucking do anything for me no but she was like oh, I'm gonna apologize I was like no if you're gonna text him tell him fuck you ate your cookies just to test that they were poison cause no <laughs> shit I was out here what yesterday day before I don't know this week at least and I walked out front Mike called me they're tearing down my fucking kid loud noises they're doing demo and I walk out to the front. Mike calls me. He's like, okay, cool. It's business. Let's go. Or that was we're just, today. We're just doing oh, yeah. it. Toby. No, it was yesterday because yesterday I bought the cookies at least. Yeah, that was yesterday. Yesterday or the day before. And I'm out front and Mike's, I was like, hold on, Mike. Girl Scout cookies. So I'm holding this conversation with this husband, this wife, and two Girl Scouts. They're selling cookies. I was like, all right, what do you got? And all I have in my ear, and at this point, <laughs> audio. <laughs> but, so all I heard from that was shortbread, and I was like, "I know I want thin mints." Yes. I know I want the do peanut have butter ones. I do. They're in the freezer. You I'll can't have them. some. They're not yours. <laughs> and along with the peanut butter ones, because like I'm frozen, I like yeah. The whole texture of it, and all I hear is just shortbread, shortbread. Give me the shortbread. And the only thing I hear, I was like, "How many shortbreads do you have?" Because I was getting ready to spend just fucking bank on this girl. It was like I'm just gonna buy all the fucking shortbread, all the thin. I bought all the thin mints that were left, which is only like two or three boxes. Yeah. I bought all the peanut. I don't care. It's helping someone else out, but I love these fucking cookies. I'm just because yeah. to the point. There's like. Nine months out of the year, you can't fucking get these. So, right. I'm pretty sure you can buy them online now. You, you can, can now. But the problem with that is, is that it's it's not the same. It isn't. The because difference is you're supporting a different troop. Yes. And it's not a local troop. Well, so Soldiers Angels gets pallets of cookies donated a year. Like... No one fucking told me. You know how broke I would have been? Yeah. It's like, I, dude, like, I'm, I'm a sucker. I'm a like, huge sucker. He was like, shortbread? I was like, I don't even care how 
anything. I don't care. You're exactly. like, I got a thousand dollars. You have bank. one. You have one Here little you badge, or you have <laughs> two thousand badge on your vest. He was like, oh, I want shortbread. I never fucking. So I was like, oh, well, they're saving my house because I only have ever bought thin mints <laughs> and peanut butter. <laughs> and then I'm over here moving all the stuff. Jess comes back. She's like, I ate some of your cookies. Which ones? <laughs> because only two types are mine. That's my, why the bag is all ripped to and, shit. And the best thing, they're only five dollars a box. Yeah. I thought I always thought there were more. No. I thought they were seven a box. Because I, no. I, I know the Boy Scouts sell the popcorn for like fifteen dollars a all bag. I know, Holy shit! And bless her heart, like no joke. Because they only had one box when I bought it, and they're like, "Oh no, we can get two more boxes." I was like, "Okay, I'll buy three. Mike will be happy with three boxes. That's more mm-hmm. than enough." And she was like, "Okay, we'll get your address, and I cash app them or Venmo them or Zelle, whatever." You could have bought twenty boxes, and I would have been happy. The funniest part was. So they're all doing the reno. I'm moving stuff. I did not know. So my my wife is sitting there with my kid in this chair, at the like close to the front door, and the kid knocks on the front door. And she waves her in because Jess can't get up. She has a kid sleeping her on her. Yeah. And I'm moving stuff. And the best part is she hands the box because I at this point there's a random kid in my house. Yeah. So I grab the boxes from her, and she can't get out of my house. If you've been in my house, it's a little bit harder to push. Through. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know what that... No, I don't. And it was so comical. I was like, look, Jess, this is how we get on a list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the door's <laughs> open. Panicking. I see, like, in front of my driveway, the parents, and we talked, and, like, we talked after they came back. They sold out. By the time they left my house, I'm so glad I grabbed them when they did. They had one box of like the coconut. Oh, the gross ones? The ones I don't like. Yeah. One box left. Everything else. So just walking with a little red wagon. Oh, yeah. Because that's how you do it. <laughs> to the point. Dude was at work. Dude was at work. And, or no, wife was at work. Husband was working from home. And he didn't answer the door. The wife messages him. If those were Girl Scouts, you better fucking chase them then down. No way! To the point that he chased them a block. No, no way! Our blocks aren't that far. Not really. But coming from your office to a block down the road. Probably not wearing good clothes. To the point it's rememberable. Like the husband and wife and their two daughters and their son, they're walking oh, with them. Man. They're carting down. Both girls are in the wagon. Everything's sold out. They have empty boxes folded up. Other than the one box of the Samoas, that's what. It's yeah, yeah, Samoas. And th- they're coming back, and he's like, "You want to buy Samoas?" Like, "No, I'm good." And he's like, "So I was like, well, how'd your selling go? Like, I mean, obviously you did well." He was like, "Someone chased us a block." <laughs> and he tells me the story, and I was like, "Yeah, if I didn't buy Girl Scout cookies today, and Mike didn't come today." With fucking shortbread, I would have heard it from Mike. I would have heard it from my wife. Yeah, if you had told me, like, Girl Scouts had come by and I, and did, I did get some fucking cookies. And, and I thought about this. After we got off the phone, I was like... Because they don't come to the country, do they? I don't get Girl that's Scouts. that's my point. It was like, I live in a neighborhood. It was like, I have the access to people selling in a way. Mike lives... You have one house every mile, yeah. roughly. Now, don't get me wrong... I'm pretty damn sure that if a bunch of country folks so, saw some Girl Scouts selling cookies down at the corner, oh. they'd be on that like they fucking sat white on rice. Street light. Woo, man! Be munching on some Girl Scout cookies. You could stack a pallets of them shits, and they'd be gone by the end of the day. <laughs> you know, I almost went that route yesterday. Girl Scouts? No, the big vape. So the reason I jumped back to vape because I started smoking again. And my wife was like, oh, well, I don't like the smell. And I was like, okay. And I was doing a little, the one you have right now. No, no, no. And, but they just, they weren't cutting it. They really weren't. And I was like, screw it. Okay. Let me, let me jump back to the old true because I want the old redribbable atomizers. Yeah. Atomizers. And I just, it was the old copper one where you had to use ketchup or vinegar to clear up the copper. So it looked clean again. And I built everyone's coils. Well, now they have 
a tank where I can do that. I was like, well, I mean, back in the day, I was doing vapes before it got popularized. I'm, I was doing old the man. same thing, and I actually ordered mine from like England. Yep. Because, and I think they were like wicked something. Yep, wicked. Yeah. Wicked vapes. Yeah. And I took, and it was like this piece of cotton that you like drip some shit on or oh, some shit like that. So that's what these are. They make them now, but. Let me, I, let me try that. Like, it's a fucking champ. It's a 15 foot cord. You're good. But I used to, at the smoke pit, I spent about five, 10 Where's minutes. Where's the button? Right there. You got to push this one in. But I would build everyone's clothes. I'd build stove tops. I'd build clap traps. I'd I'd go through the That's fucking That's pretty tasty. I'd go through the fucking ringer. It's Harambe. Silverback has built one of my favorite juices. But essentially, I jump back to Did this. Did you press the button? You gotta push the red button. The red button. Oh, the red button. I'm like <laughs> But I, I jump back to this just because it gives me the flavor, it gives me the nicotine, where I'm not fucking fiending over a cigarette. Oh, I like that. And everybody was talking, like, like, oh, you're just going back to fucking smoke, whatever. It's like, yeah. I'm going to what fucking hits. Like, I'm at, well, I mean, it's, I'm at two quarters. It's the same reason why when I was getting to the end of my cigarette days, I, uh, I fucking had to switch to fucking cowboy killers because... It wasn't doing it. Nothing else was doing it. And I was like, I just need fucking the nicotine to fucking give me a buzz. So, but that's so, that's intermission two, three, three. No, this is two. No, this is three. three, three. Hey, girl. Hey, next time.